Can you give us sort of a summary of your findings? Yeah, well, we were delighted um, to find that taking uh, doxycycline kept uh, as soon as possible or within 72 hours after condomless uh, contact really remarkably reduced uh, new bacterial STI. So on average, about 65% per quarter, and that held up between those uh, taking PrEP and it wasn't different in those uh, who were living with HIV. So we're really uh, delighted to see how effective uh, this simple and cheap intervention was. I think what we really learned from PrEP is that we need more tools, right? We have condoms, condoms are important, but having more tools is better. And so I think we've seen, you know, year over year that the STI incident is going up in some populations that have been disproportionately impacted. So this represents, I think, a much needed tool that we have as a complement to things, that, other things that people are doing to reduce their, their, their risk of sexually transmitted infections. Um, so having more tools is always going to be a better thing. And, and one thing that I think we really want to have learned from the PrEP experience. When PrEP first rolled out, there was a lot of skepticism about it, and I think a lot of thinking, well, gosh, do you really need to take a medication for a disease that you don't have? Aren't there better ways to avoid this? And now I think we all recognize that HIV PrEP has been an unmitigated success, and it's saved lives and, and, and reduced infections. And I hope that we can learn from that for the right people offering them doxycycline and to not shame them about their STI incidents, but to say this is another another tool in the toolbox because we're all in this together to try to reduce STI incidents. Connie, would you add to that? No, I think the other thing that we heard from participants is that uh, even though gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis are not associated with mortality, they do have morbidity and they do impact people's sexual relationships. And so the men that were in the study really described a lot of um, desire to reduce their risk and and it, I think it's a highly acceptable and desired intervention for men um, both U equals U and PrEP have changed, changed things and so we have to come to terms with the fact that condomless sex is happening right? and we need to make it safer and make sex more um, of a positive experience.